Hello everyone, my name is Hong Yue Wang from the Exertion Games Lab at Monash University in Australia. In this paper, we propose a novel 3D footprinting interface called pick to eat It's designed to encourage people to break the ice through collaborative painting by transforming their sketches into appetizers. Imagine yourself at a social gathering, eager to forge new friendship. Or might you navigate initial awareness and establish meaningful connections in such a setting? Finding a natural and enjoyable way to facilitate communication and establish connections becomes really crucial. In the HCI community, we often use interactive games, social robots, and even wearable devices as a speaker to help overcome the awkwardness of the first meetings and promote communication. In this paper, we shift our perspective to the most ubiquitous materials in our daily lives, food. During social gatherings, appetizers are not only served to stimulate appetite before meals, but also symbolize the central pace of social interaction. So I was inspired. Could creating an appetizer together in a social setting open up our social connections and eliminate our workers in the same way that it opens up our appetites? 3D food printing has a novel food fabrication technology or special food generative capabilities. It can help us at breaking efficiently and participate in more interesting conversations and creative processes, and leave the boring food making process to the printer. However, there are still some research gaps and 3D footprinting driven human food interaction research. In response, our research seeks to answer this research question. In this paper, we use human centered design methods to develop ice breaking concepts revolves around food interaction technology, aiming to meet users' social needs and place them at the core of the design process. In the first stage, we interviewed professional chefs to learn about the potential of 3D food printing and also focus on understanding users' needs in the context of social ice breaking. In the second stage, we progressed to the development of an interactive system incorporating 3D food printing technology. In the third stage, we conduct a pilot user study aimed to evaluate our system and to learn about the effectiveness of our system, user experience, and areas for the potential improvement. In this study, to it aims to help strangers to break the ice naturally in social gatherings by customizing the shape and flavor of 3D printed food based on the random background prompts.